Hi, this is Austin. Today I would like to share the Marilyn series of loan 1 plus sine x. As usual, we let fx be equal to loan 1 plus sine x. At the point x equal to 0, we have loan sine x is equal to 0 1 plus 0 we have 1 so which means that loan 1 is equal to 0 then we differentiate as usual with respect to x differentiate loan x we have 1 over x the reciprocal so differentiate loan 1 plus sine x we should have 1 over 1 plus sine x Remember, we have to apply the chain rule to differentiate the inner function, which is 1 plus sine x. When we differentiate 1, we have 0. Differentiate sine, we have cos, which means that we obtain cos x over 1 plus sine x. As we can see, this is a fractional fun function. If we differentiate, it's a bit complicated. So what we have to do here, instead of differentiating this complicated function, we will split into two parts. First one, the numerator, let it be gx. So we have cos x, and the second part, let it be the denominator which is 1 plus sine x so at the point x equal to 0 we obtain cos 0 which is 1 then we can differentiate easily as usual so we have differentiate cos obtain negative sine at the point 0 sine 0 is 0 then we have to differentiate for the second time, which is differentiate sign we have cos negative cos. So we have negative one. If let's say we're not sure how many things should we differentiate how many times should we differentiate we can actually leave here first then we proceed to the sine function at the point x equal to 0 we have 1 plus sine 0 which means that 1 plus 0 is 1 then differentiate we have differentiate sine is cos cos x is equal to 1 then we differentiate negative sine is 0 so as we can see this is the original term original term which means that we will rise to the power of 0 x to the power of 0 then the first derivative is 0 but here we have the first derivative first derivative which means that x rise to the power of 1 then x rise to the power of 2 and this one also 2 and as you can see we have how many terms here x power 0 x power 1 and x power 2 so here already three non-zero terms if let's say we would like to have more terms so from here i will differentiate the sign instead of the cos because i need add x to the power of three so differentiate again so negative sign which means that negative cos then we have negative 1. Okay, let's form the Marilyn series. The power and the denominator basically depends on the term of the derivative. So this is the original function which means that we will have 1 over 0 factorial x to the power of 0. 
Then first derivative means that over one factorial and x to the power one. Then this term is one. So we plus one over one factorial x to the power of one. Then the third derivative is negative one. So we put negative one here and then over third, which means that three x to the power of three and so on. So one, two, three, three non-zero terms here. Then for the g x. We have, okay, this is 1 over 0 factorial x to the power of 0. Then we plus, this is the second derivative, negative 1 over 2 factorial x to the power of 2, and so on. Before we proceed to what we need, let's simplify these two expressions. So we have 1 minus 1 over 2 x squared and so on. This we have 1 plus x minus 1 over 2 factorial which is 6 x cubed and so on. What we need is cos x over 1 plus sin x which means that we take gx over h x we just have to apply the long division so we have 1 plus x minus 1 over 6 x cubed and so on divides 1 remember to leave some space for the missing term so that it's more clear and easy when we come to minus so i will put 0 x here since we don't have power 1, so we just put 0x and minus 1 over 2x squared. As we can see, for a cos function, when we differentiate, will always be alternately 1, 0, 1, 0. So it means that the third derivative must be equal to 0. So we can actually put here plus 0x to the power of 3. Okay, let's perform the long division. Remember, when we apply the long division, the root here is always, we will get 0 for the first term when we minus. So which means that in order to get 0, we need 1 minus 1. In order to have 1, we will put 1 here. So 1 times 1, we have 1. So 1 minus 1, we get 0. So this is correct, but we continue to times. So 1 times x, x. 1 times negative, so negative 1 over 6, x cubed. Okay, let's simplify. 0 minus 1. So negative x. Here, nothing. So we get back the same thing. Okay, then 0 minus negative. Minus negative, which means that plus 1 over 6x cubed. Okay, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, next, what we want here is negative x negative x times 1 so negative x when we minus we will again get 0 so this is correct then we continue so negative x times positive x negative positive negative x square then x times x cubed so we should have x to the power 4 but we don't have here so ignore no need to perform any calculation here so we have minus 1 over 2 minus negative 1 which means that negative 1 over 2 plus 1 we will obtain positive 1 over 2 x squared then this is 0 so we have 1 over 6x cubed and so on. 
next we will have plus 1 over 2 x squared so plus 1 over 2 x squared then 1 over 2 x squared times x which is 1 over 2 x cubed and so on 1 over 6 minus 1 over 2 okay take our calculator if let's say we can calculate in our mind so we should have negative 1 over 3 then here will be negative 1 over 3 and so on so we have four non-zero terms how many terms we need is actually depends on the question if the question requires for three non-zero terms then we just have to give three if the question asks for four then we put up to x power three now let's move back to what we need what we need is the expansion of fx which is the loan 1 plus sine x unfortunately if we use the normal method to form the Maclaurin series is quite complicated so we split into g x and h x but this is the first derivative so we still have to apply the normal idea from here at the point zero we have zero so this is zero basically we can simply ignore so what we need we just integrate the first derivative with respect to x why we have to take care of the constant here is because bear in mind that when we differentiate any function without any limits we have to always plus c what's the meaning of plus c plus c is the constant here that's why we have to always consider this but this is zero so we just ignore which means that we have only this part okay then what is this this is actually here and what is this is here so which means that we just have to integrate 1 minus x plus 1 over 2 x square minus 1 over 3 x cubed and so on with respect to x so when we integrate 1 we obtain x when we integrate negative x power plus 1 over power plus 1 the power here is 1 so power plus 1 is 2 over power plus 1 with the negative then next we have power plus 1 which is 3 then 1 over originally is 2 over 3 again we have 6 then next we have power plus 1 is 4 over 3 times 4 which is 12 and so on then we done okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you